I'm going to record this little video about uh, a little flat roof for Eric Garcia. Not me, actually some guy named Eric Garcia. Uh, he has a uh, open beam ceiling underneath. It's not a ceiling, just wood. It's a no Mauro. Uh, uh, a true check lines are run uh, across the beams because uh, what I'm trying to nail is nail on the rafter so to prevent the nail from uh, from uh, uh, from going through the uh, one one inch uh, wood and then just uh, so you can see the uh, the shiners on the outside and even though if you paint them with the time they get rusted and always gonna have to see them so so I'm doing this to prevent that today I'm gonna show you how to how do I do my torch, okay? Uh, so then that guy is nailing on the rafters and uh, I already installed my my edge metal and I'm gonna use primer. I'm gonna guide you through the uh, installation today. Hopefully you like it. And having uh, updated uh, my torch down for a long time, so I'm going to do it today. I have time. Uh, another quick tip, I thought Mario, yeah, make sure that you, when you're doing like two plies, base and torch, make sure that you do give at least uh, six inches, okay? Six inches or like this, six inches overlap, because you're only doing two plies. Two plies is supposed to give you a warranty of uh, between 12 and 15 years, it all depends how you apply it. Also on the eaves, I, I use a self-stick base sheet to, uh, <coughs> instead of a smooth. And also right there, I'm going to overlap about eight, 18 inches on the, on the shingle roof underneath. And then I'm going to start from there. Okay, guys? I got one guy who's my second man. He's he's rolling the the material. He's putting it in place and then rolling it back. And then he's making the prep for me. You got it, Eric? I'm going to put it on YouTube so you can show it to the inspector. Before I continue, make sure that you use uh, asphalt primer to prime your... Your metal a lot of roofers they don't prime it because when it's painted but unfortunately you know after like two three years you know the material starts coming off because it doesn't adhere the way it's supposed to be so make sure when you use like a hot mop or torch down applications you use asphalt primer you know recommended by the manufacturer it doesn't really matter the brand it has to be asphalt primer to to <laughs> <laughs> this guy is pushing me anyway um, just make sure you use asphalt primer okay guys before you uh, attach the the torch down to the metal come on take this video for al revés viejo revés I'll take this video for Mr. Mac Mac something I don't know, it's always on my channel he asked me a question last time how he does the cut when he gets there ahí está, ahí está Mauro toma, ven para acá Mauro I'll show you how you do the cut when you get to the wall okay guys no, 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 te muevas. Right here, you cut it like you go to the base of the thing and then you cut it like a, like this. Okay, make sure it wraps. Make sure it wraps on the other side. And then you pull the material back like this. You hit well, you hit it, and then you apply it. Okay, that simple. I'll show you. Okay, guys. Okay,
Okay, guys, and that's how you do your little detail right there, okay, with torch. You fold the ears like this. Fold the other side, and then I'm going to finish with this like this, and then I'm going to do a finish cut right there. I'll show you. Uh, torch down, when you're joining the flat roof with the slope roof, make sure you go 18 inches over the, on top of the slope, but when you burn the, the torch, you, you're burning in pieces of uh, six feet or nine feet, nine feet long, okay? because you cannot roll the roll like if you're you're doing a field because it's in an angle you know one two i usually do like two like three steps and then i fold it and then i burn it and then i overlap and then i fold the other side and then i burn the back side and then i i i, I apply it